What is going on, fellow aviators? Randomad787 here. Well, we are back in the good old Cessna 172, and we are going to be heading to the one and only Charleston, South Carolina today. The weather is... Um, okay. <laughs> no, it is absolutely beautiful today. There's barely a cloud in the sky. Let me, let me see if I can confirm. Yep, not even a cloud. And I can confirm that we are using live weather and it seems to be pretty accurate to what's going on right now uh, I believe so uh, first of all before I get started I want to thank you guys uh, for watching the live stream last night um, we had a lot of fun it was I, I flew around a lot more than I thought I was going to so uh, it was a lot of fun um, I got to talk with uh, uh, Far, Far Isle uh, um, one of my uh, uh, subscribers it was a ton of fun had a lot of fun chatting with him and uh, I hope to chat with more of you in the in the future so uh, good thing is I already did my pre-flight inspection because uh, that's the most boring of all the checklists so uh, before starting engine let's get that going first so the pre-flight inspection is complete seats and belts are good brakes are I've been testing set I guess uh, circuit breakers are good electrical equipment's off avionics bus one and two off fuel sucker on both fuel shutoff valve is open now to start the engine first I need to get a little bit of a pushback from mr. pushback so sir if you would be so kind as to give Cessna November 1, 787, Romeo Echo a push, please. Thank you, kind sir. But yeah, um, weather in Charleston looks pretty good. Uh, a little windy, but um, I don't think it should be too much of a problem. And the good thing is I got the airport uh, studied this time, so I know what to expect. Uh, buddy, I think you might want to scoot over a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, he's probably going to like uh, twitch right over. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of a bug right there. He'll get on it. Watch, he's going to appear right here. Any second now. Any second now. Right. There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. A little bit of a bug there. And right here is good. Thank you, good sir. Alrighty. So, uh, let's get this started. Throttle, quarter inch. Mixture idle cutoff, uh, standby battery switch. Let's uh, hold that on test for 20 seconds. I don't exactly know why you need to do this, but we'll do what the checklist says. Yeah, but I'm really excited to fly today because I freaking love Charleston, South Carolina. Even though I've never been there personally, I always hear nothing but good things about it. And I really can't wait to just fly around there with you guys at one point. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to arm it and check that the PFD comes on. Very good. Got the Garmin logo. All right, engine uh, indicating system. Uh, let's see. We'll check our parameters. Yep, looks good. All right, uh, bus E volt. Let's see if I can remember what that is. Yep, right there. 24 volts. That's good. Um, MS bol uh, bolts, I believe that's right here, if I'm not mis- Oh, hang on. I just gotta do that. There we go. Okay, good. Taws system test. Okay. Fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. All right, so standby, enunciator, check on. Good. Hang on. Did I, did I get everything right? Okay, good. I'm just making sure- it, It's so hard to tell which one, um, you're, you're doing. Uh, cause if you tick it, then- uh, it's gonna do it automatically, and I do not want that. So let's turn on the battery switches. Uh, beacon, where are you at? Where are you at? I always have a tough time finding the beacon. There it is. Okay, beacon's all the way on the left. That should be easy to remember. Mixture, rich, and fuel pump. Nope, that's pure heat. Uh, fuel pump. Leave that on for a few seconds. I right, got just checking that the fuel pump went up. We always want to make sure that there's fuel actually being pumped. Alrighty, uh, fuel pump was set. Mixture lean. Feet ready to break and ignition start. Alright, there we go. Sorry for the jump cut there. Um, uh, my uh, roommate just uh, came back in. So, okay, we're good now. Uh, let's see what we got here. After starting engine, throttle, we'll adjust that to 1,000. Let's see, we're here at... There we go. 
All right, oil pressure is in the green. Amps. Uh, I always forget what this stuff is. Okay, good. Amps. Well, me, it says it right there. I should kind of know that. All right, avionics plus one and two. Coming on. And the flaps are up. So for taxi, taxi is required. I don't ever put that on. It's not necessary. Uh, strobe's on. Navigation lights are on. Parking brake release. Yada, yada, yada. All right, and then the run-up, we'll do that when we cross that bridge. All right. So we got a total flight time, well, of zero minutes. <laughs> so uh, let's get it going here. So uh, do we have uh, automated? Yes, we got automated weather. Good. Definitely need that. So one three two seven five. Kilo India Sierra Oscar automated weather observation one five zero zero Zulu. Wind zero three zero at two two. Visibility one zero. Sky condition few clouds at seven hundred feet few clouds at four thousand four hundred feet few clouds at twelve thousand three hundred feet. Temperature one three C dew point. 10C altimeter 3032. Kilo India Sierra Oscar automated weather observation 1500 Zulu. Wind 030 at 22. Visibility 10. Sky condition few clouds at 700 feet, few clouds at 4400 feet, few clouds Let's at 12,000. Soon ground on 1219. Temperature 13C dew point 10C altimeter 3032. Okay, so. We're going to have some pretty strong winds coming out here. It's going to be bumpy, but that is okay. We're going to be just fine. So, let's uh, contact ground. In fact, at first, let's... Um, actually, I don't know which runway. Uh, we're probably going to be going this way, so let me see what they say first. So, we're going south, a.k.a. South Carolina. Kinston Ground Cessna November 1787 Romeo Echo request taxi for departure to the south. Cessna November 1787 Romeo Echo Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 5 using Taxiway Bravo Alpha. Contact tower on 120.6 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 5 using Taxiway Bravo Alpha Cessna 7 Romeo Echo. Alright, so it's going to be runway 5, same runway as always. Kind of shocked by that. I want to make sure we don't hit him. Actually, no. I landed at a different runway last time. I came in this way. I'm going right now. Mm, yeah, let me go this way. So, as always, we got freaking traffic blocking us. Alright, good. We're clear that way, and we're clear that way. Perfecto. Come on. Let's get it going. All right. All right. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Um, what's going on with my rudder here? Why is this plane turning like this? All right, there we go. That was a weird bug. Okay. We're well on our way now. Alright, yeah, I think we gotta actually turn this way. We gotta turn to the right. Wow, look how populated this is. With all these planes and people on the ground. You would never get this kind of immersion in FSX unless you paid a buttload of cash. Yeah, so I think our flight attendant is gonna be kind of similar to uh, last time, but the good thing is we're, I don't think we're gonna have any storms to dodge, so we should be okay. Gonna taxi down to the runway here. Yeah, if you look over there at the windsock, it's uh, it's pretty nasty. That windsock is blowing pretty good, but it's good. I need some experience with uh, crosswinds and rough winds, so might as well just turn our uh, ailerons into the wind there. Actually, uh, I mean, that, that's where the wind is. I always set my heading bug to the wind direction. In fact, actually, I don't even need to really do that, because... Oh, is that which way the wind's blowing? Huh. 
Oh, okay, wait, never mind. All right, uh, is there a run-up area here? I guess not. I guess right here we'll have to do. So, definitely want to go into the wind today. So, let's turn right here. And turn the plane around. Right here should be good. All right, it's run up time. Here we go. Down, about down a little bit. Okay, parking brake is set. Pilot and passenger seats are set. Good, good, good. All right, flight controls. Down, up, down, up, up, down, left, right. Good. All right, flight instruments. No red X's. Everything looks good. Altimeter PDF is set. Standby altimeter is set. Uh, let's set our autopilot really quick. We're going to go to, I think, 10,000 feet should be safe for today. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get the actual autopilots uh, set up here. So that we're prepared once we go out. And I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm not going to um, be doing uh, views outside the airplane uh, during our climb. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to start it uh, during the climb, and it's going to go throughout uh, the rest of the flight. I'm not going to do two segments of that, because I want to make these videos a little bit shorter. So, oh, hey, no, I'm, oh, damn it, damn it, ah, freaking, ah, all right, I'm, I'm getting really confused now. <laughs> I'm screwing up already. There we go, all right. So now I got to set my altimeter, or, no, altimeter. Squat code. Yeah, can you tell I'm ready to fly today? Because uh, I'm ready to fly. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so, let's see. We want to put on the nav. And the vertical speed. So, we're going to do about like 500 feet per minute. Should be good. Oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze any second. All right. So, altitude selection is good. Standby flight instruments look good. Wait, what are standby flight? Oh, okay. That's, that's what I thought. Okay, good. Uh, fuel quantity indicators. Make sure our fuel's good. What, where are you at? There you go. No, fuel, fuel right there. Okay. Wow, I'm I'm out of it. Fuel switchers on both. Autopilot engage. Is it? Did I engage the autopilot? There we go. Good. AP trim disconnect button is press. I don't know. Flight director uh, off. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's off. All right. Elevator trim set for takeoff. Uh, throttle to 1800. Let's see how the plane's running today. Right up there. All right. Check our magnetos. Got a nice drop there. Back to 1800. Lift mag is good. All right, vacuum gauge. Let's see if I can remember where that is. I never. Okay, good. Vacuum's right there. Engine indicators, oil pressure, oil temperature is good. And ammeter. Everything down here looks good. Our volts are good. Enunciators, nothing is on, which is good. Throw out idle, make sure the engine doesn't stall. Wait till it gets down to about 650, then we'll bring it back to 1,000. That's good enough right there. All right, and before takeoff, uh, comm frequency set. Now frequencies uh, set. Yada, yada, yada. Good, uh, um... Transponder set, flaps, 10 degrees. I don't know, I'm almost thinking we don't, we shouldn't be using flaps today, but we'll see how the plane flies. I gotta see how it flies. All right, let's request our uh, takeoff clearance. Let's go to 120, 1206. Sorry, once again, if you can hear freaking motorcycles outside my window, they just love to just rev those things. I think they look so cool, don't they? Alright. Take out clearance. 
Kinston Tower, Cessna, November 1787, Romeo Echo, ready at runway flight, departure to the south. November 1787, Romeo Echo, cleared for takeoff, runway 5, south, departure approved. Wait for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 5, Cessna 7, Romeo Echo. Alright, autopods are set. Let's rock and roll off to Charleston, South Carolina. Actually, I think we're going to be having a headwind, so I think we're going to be okay, actually. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. I'm going to turn the aileron just a little bit in the wind. Alright, full power. Airspeed's alive. Bring back the aileron correction just a little bit. And I don't know. Engine look good. And rotate. Very good. Nice smooth takeoff. Whoa, this thing is really sensitive today. Okay, flaps up. I think I put a little, a little too much right rudder there. We're going off the runway here. That's what I love about this little thing right here. It tells you exactly where you are. Roger Diet. Kinston Tower, Cessna, November 1787. Romeo Echo, continue for south departure. Up. Everything's good. All right, once they, uh, I think, we're, well, I don't know. We could probably turn any second. I just want to wait till we actually leave the airport. Wow, what a gorgeous day! start turning now. Yeah, but then uh, once we uh, get onto our course, then I'll pretty much set the autopilot. Yeah, that plane's practically flying itself right now. It's flying beautifully. Well, we're going to be saying goodbye to North Carolina today. Kind of sad. Alrighty. We'll just let the plane climb right here. And uh, once we uh, get handed out to our next departure, I think that's where I will let you guys enjoy some nice views outside the airplane. We're gonna try to really cut the video's length today if I can. Hopefully I do, I know I cut it last time. I, wanna, I don't want it to be any longer than 40 minutes, personally. Let me see, anything on the checklist? Uh, end round climb, throttle, area. yeah, yeah. yeah. Taxi and landing lights off above to no, that's ten thousand. You gotta fix that as well. It's ten thousand. Alright, turn a little bit more to our core setting. Wow, what a there's not even a cloud in the sky. That is amazing. And I actually did look at the weather in Charleston, uh, compared to the uh, weather channel. Um it actually looks pretty accurate. I think Azobo is slowly fixing this. Plus there was a patch recently, so I don't know if that actually fixed anything. So I think we'll go ahead and turn the autopilot here. Look at that, look how smooth that is. Now we can just enjoy the lovely views. Frequency change. Seven Romeo Echo. 
Winston Tower, Cessna, November 1787, Romeo Echo, frequency change. All right, once we get our squawk code, I'll leave it to the views. For the nice views, that's when they will come in. And that's when I'll let you guys sit back and relax. Well, I hope you're sitting back and relaxing right now and maybe got a nice beverage or a nice snack. Hopefully something better than you get on the airlines. All right, flight falling. Give us our squawk code, sir. Johnson approached Cessna November 1787. Romeo Echo is type Cessna Skyhawk, four miles southwest of Kinston. Request flight following. Cessna November 1787. Romeo Echo Johnson approach. Squawk 4, 5115. 4515 Romeo Echo. Cessna 7 Romeo Echo, radar contact, four miles. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this, so I hope for now you will enjoy the views throughout the flight, so please sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. I'll see you guys when we get close to Charleston. Bye bye! Welcome back guys. So, I hope you enjoyed all the lovely views outside the airplane. So, uh, we are now about uh, less than 15 minutes away uh, from uh, Charleston. So, we're getting pretty close. I've canceled our flight following, but I'm just about to contact the tower. Uh, we had a pretty smooth flight. Um, however, climbing to 10,000 feet, the plane just suddenly started to stall. I don't know why maybe the autopilot was screwing up or something but I fixed it everything was fine we got to 10,000 feet another thing I noticed uh I'm not really pulling I'm leaving the power at full completely during the entire flight but hey at least as long as the engines you know, you know working okay 
But I think I might start going to lower altitudes now because at 10,000 feet, this plane does fly kind of slow. So I actually might go to lower altitudes maybe for future flights, but I'll wait and see on that. But yeah, let's go, go ahead and contact uh, Charleston Tower and uh, get our landing clearance. Charleston Tower says the November 1787 Romeo Echo is 27 miles northeast with Sierra to land. Cessna November 1787 Romeo Echo Charleston Tower. Enter left downwind runway tree. Altimeter tree 0 decimal 26 wind 068 at 15. Left downwind runway 3. Enter left traffic runway tree Cessna 7 Romeo Echo. Okay, so we are going to have some pretty strong winds today, so it is going to probably be a bumpy landing, but I will make do with the situation that I have here, but absolutely, yep, I believe that's Charleston right over there. Look at this, guys. We made it. Well, not quite yet. We still got to land, but well, one thing I noticed, I don't know if this is a feature that was implemented, but I actually did get a traffic advisory warning earlier in the flight. Uh, so, you know, look out my window, and sure enough, I looked out. I could actually see a plane. I was a... Uh, I believe it was an Airbus right behind me, so that was really cool. But yeah, so far this was an immensely smooth flight. I don't think I even, I barely saw any clouds today. It's just an absolutely beautiful day outside. So, but yeah, I guess I should assume it's going to be windy in Charleston since you're pretty much right near the Atlantic Ocean, so you're going to have a lot more wind when you're near the ocean, so, but it's good. A little bit of a challenge is nice and hey if we got to go around we got to go around so i don't know i may not go crazy on the flaps today i may just keep it about maybe 10 degrees i'll see how the plane feels but um yeah in the meantime guys uh until we get closer to the airport i'll talk to you then all righty that's all set so we are approaching the airport now so i'm going to go ahead and disengage the autopilot and we're going to fly this baby manually I'm trying to figure out which airport that could be in front of us. It actually might be Charleston, so I'm just going to descend just a little bit here. Let's go down to about 2,000 feet. But yeah, man. Charleston looking lovely today. A little on the bumpy side, though, <laughs> with all the buildings there. Just all got to load in. So I think I see our runway. I believe it's right there. So let's go ahead and get ready for our left traffic. RPM, 500 feet per minute descent, and I'll be um, doing jump cuts here and there in the interest of time, no, or for the interest of time, because <laughs> I want to make sure I keep these videos as short as I kind of can. I don't want them to be too short, obviously. But yeah, so far, weather feels kind of smooth. Yeah, that's definitely Charleston right there. I can just tell by the shape of the airport. Hopefully for once, I'm not going to screw up finding an airport. I mean, I don't see any other airports on here, so I believe that's it. I have been to this airport in real life. I think I've only been here once, I believe, when I went to Hilton Head a few years ago, which... I, I just remember, I'm going to fly over. Hilton Head is a place I highly recommend to go on vacation for. Obviously, probably not right now, but when that time comes and everything goes back to normal, um, I highly recommend going to Hilton Head. It's absolutely beautiful. Going on about maybe 1,200 feet, I think that would be good. Wow, look at look at all the houses down there, man. It's too bad they haven't quite loaded in yet. Got some cars. Wow, doesn't this just look incredible? I mean, I know everything's not loaded in, but I'm still amazed by it. Let's 
see how our wind's looking. All right, wind should be okay. All right, let's say we start our turn now. Wow, dude, I'm just mind blown of how, how good this game looks. It just amazes me. And I love playing with that drone camera to get those fantastic views. It just, ah, oh, it's so nice. So I can see the runway number from here. Uh, yeah, I kind of can. All right, we got to really get this plane down. Let's uh, decrease our power a little bit. But maybe 1,800 RPM should be good. I got I to gotta really get this plane down. Oh, we got a middle marker? Oh, because we're near an ILS. Okay. All right, we're at a pretty good distance from the airport there, actually. That's kind of right where I want to be. Let's go to 1100. It's a busy airport. We got a lot of traffic here. It's getting pretty busy. Cessna 7, Romeo Echo cleared to land runway 3. Wind 0, 0, 8, 2, 2. Clear to land runway 3, Cessna 7, Romeo Echo. Clear to land runway 3, 3, Flex Jet 5, 4, Niner. All right. Down to 1500. Clear for takeoff Star runway base. 3, 3. Alpha yeah, I hope that traffic's not going to be an issue. Six, four, one, two miles southwest inbound ILS runway three three approach. Runway three nine or six four Charleston Tower. Cleared ILS runway three three approach. Altimeter three zero decimal two four one zero zero eight two two. All right, looking good so far. Next notch of flaps. We'll do about 20 degrees. I think we should be okay. Cleared ILS runway 33. Approach endpoint 39 or 64. Charleston Tower, generic November 461, Quebec Sierra, 25 miles southeast, inbound ILS runway 33 approach. Yeah, I think that's just for the jets. Generic November oh, I got a plane over there. Look at that, guys. Charleston Tower. Cleared ILS runway 33 approach. Altimeter 30 decimal 24100822. That is so cool. I'd say we start our turn a little bit right now. It's started slowly. Charleston Tower generic number right there, 317 Charlie Quebec 29 or miles southwest inbound ILS runway 33. Oh, looks like he had to go around. Or maybe he was taken off. I don't know. Generic November 317 Charlie Quebec Charleston Tower. Cleared ILS runway 33 approach. Altimeter 30 decimal 241008 I'm pretty sure this is runway 3. <laughs> Ooh, that one's picking up now. Okay. You already call it 500, lady. This is the busiest I've seen in airport so far. This is the right air, right runway, right? Yeah, it is. I can see 03 on there. Yep. Charleston Tower Flex Jet Five. Looking beautiful here. During the corner of the Pappy light, uh, we're a little high, but that's okay. Flex Jet Five Four Nine or Charleston Tower. Clear ILS runway three three approach. Yep, runway three. Zero decimal two one eight one zero zero eight two two. Ooh, we gotta really get down. We're way too high. That's okay, though. We'll be fine. You just cut the power back. 
You're too high, you pull power back. Now we got a little bit of a crosswind here. Little bumpy there, a little bumpy. Cessna 7, Romeo Echo, exit runway when able. But we're on the ground. Crosswind lanes I always struggle with. Clear to land, runway 3, treat and going 3, 9 or 6, 4. We're going to turn off of there. I don't want to turn that way. That's to the gate. Turn right here. Flex jet oh, clear what was that? <laughs> My number two might have to fix that. Follow the generic on final. Wind zero zero eight to two two. Cessna seven Romeo Echo turn next taxiway. Cessna seven Romeo Echo contact ground on LNE two one decimal nine. One two one nine. Going to LNE two one decimal nine or Cessna seven Romeo Echo. Welcome to Charleston, guys. Not the best land I had, but Generic eight, oh well. Echo Lima, exit runway, when able. Man, this day takes forever to turn. Clear All right. To land runway three, three number two, flex jet five four nine. -er. Parking. Hello. Parking. Charleston ground Thank you. Cessna November one seven eight seven Romeo Echo request taxi into parking. Cessna November 1787 Romeo Echo Taxi to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Golf Alpha Cross Runway 3 3 Alpha Bravo Cross Runway 3 3 Bravo Cross Runway 2 1 Bravo Foxtrot. What? <laughs> I'm not going to even pretend to listen to that. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking mm, using Taxiway Golf too. Alpha Cross Runway 3 3 Alpha Bravo is that? Cross Runway 3 3 Bravo Cross Runway 2 1 Bravo Foxtrot Cessna 7 Romeo Echo. How about this? I'm going to park where I feel like parking. <laughs> hey, there is, there's, no, there's no freaking way I'm going to even attempt to do all that. Hold short. Hold position Cessna 7 Romeo Echo. I'm just gonna find a random place to park. I'm not even kidding here. Like right over there? That's where I wanna go. Yeah, so we're just gonna move because the whole position ATC stuff is usually broken. See, that's what I mean. Cessna 7 Romeo Echo, hold position, caution, the generic on the runway. How about no? Cessna 7 Romeo Echo, continue taxi. H how is this still an issue? Roger Cessna 7 Romeo Echo. After 10, 10 years, this is still an issue with ATC. Come on. I don't know, I might need to switch to VAT sim or something. <laughs> Whoa. Um, should he be flying like that? That looks awfully dangerous. Oh, wait a minute. That's, um, that's a multiplayer guy. I thought that was AI for a sec. Alright, we're just gonna park right in here. I just wish that I know they have progressive text, but you gotta go to another, another menu for that, and I don't wanna do that. And where, where's the wind blowing? I might need. Okay, no, I don't need to do any aileron corrections. Alright, we'll just pull up right in here, and call it a day. But yeah, man, I'm so happy I'm finally in Charleston. I cannot wait to fly around this area. Oh, gotta slow this plane down a little bit here. I, I just keep forgetting that there's actual multiplayer guys on here. Alright, we'll park right near this guy. And 
that. Perfect. Alrighty, let's get out our checklist here. Let's see. After landing, flaps are up. Landing line, taxi lay, transponder to standby. Let's put on standby right now. Parking, parking brakes set. Avionics plus one and two off. Engine idle. Magnetos, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna do, uh, you know, an electrical coming off first. Power back. Done. That's how you do it. Alrighty, guys. Oh, and, uh, set our, so that there's no uh, cross feeding. Oh, hang on, uh, good. Uh, uh, trim is good. Uh, everything seems to be all set. Yep, parking big sign. All right, good. All right, guys, once again, welcome to Charleston, South Carolina. I really hope you all enjoyed this flight as much as I did. So, uh, keep in, uh, just uh, be sure to, uh, uh, stay tuned, guys, because uh, I will be flying around this area in multiplayer with you guys at some point, hopefully next week. Oh, looks like we got a little Cessna Citation taken off here. Nice. Wow, this is a nice, busy airport. I really like it here. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I will catch you all next time. And I am RandomEd787, and as always, guys, happy flying.